What could possibly be better than one musky fishing trip to Eagle Lake? Two. The answer is two is better. We are back on Eagle Lake. This is our first full day of fishing. We got a couple hours in last night. Boated two fish, a 41 and a 44 on a bucktail on rocks. So um, yeah, we had a little bit to go on this morning and actually we've already done a little bit of fishing. I'm late to get into the intro. We saw a couple of fish on rocks with bucktails and here we are. So um, we're gonna be bopping around rocks, weeds, we got to figure out what the pattern is. High skies like this with a lot of sun usually means weeds on Eagle Lake, but muskies are muskies and they can do what they want. So um, we are just going to be checking things here and there. We throw in bucktails, that's what Jim's throwing in the back there right now, uh, navens, mini X's, custom X, you know, we're going to be throwing all sorts of stuff. So um, I better get back at it here so we can see if we can get a muskie in the boat for you to look at. All right, folks, based on the success we had last night, we were going to throw bucktails, or at least I'm going to throw a bucktail on a rock. And of course, the bucktail is a Esox Assault 109 in Killer Corn, my absolute favorite out here on Eagle Lake. I'm throwing it on a Shock and Awe 2020, nine foot with the 500 tranks. Jim's going with the old Eagle Colored Custom X 6.75 Mini. And we're going to see what we can do. There's a fish. He's going to hit. He's going to hit. Got him. Ready? It's right here. <laughs> there we are. He's looks a little skinny, but yep. All right. That was cool. He kind of came up the first time around and nipped at it. Got him to go in the eight. All right, buddy, let's get you. How are you pinned here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where else does it have you here? All right, there you go. There you go. All right, well, after seeing three fish on rocks, Jim and I decided to try some uh, shallower, weedy areas. Uh, hadn't seen anything in the, the two or three spots we fished, and this guy came in. I think it's probably a mid-upper 30s. It was cool, though. Came in, nipped on the, the eight, and then uh, came around a second time and fully committed. So let's get a look at him here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. All right. And a skinny little guy. Well, I'll switch around with Jim here because our the boat's swinging around. Yeah. Smells like a muskie. Yeah. All right, buddy, how big are you? Well, he's 39. 39, but just a little bit skinnier than your typical Eagle Lake muskie, but still fun. It's awesome to catch these fish on the figure eight. So we'll, I can feel her tensing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And there she goes. So a little unceremonious. <laughs> 
release there, but she wanted to go, so it's always better just to get the fish in the water. But uh, I don't know that we can call that a pattern yet, but it gives us something to go on, so we're going to keep throwing bucktails and weeds, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, I thought he, he didn't miss it by much, did he? Did you feel him for a second? Huh, how big was that one? About the same. Same size, okay. Well, that was, that was a little, that was more of a biter than a follower. <laughs> I got a fish. What was that? Man, <laughs> he came zinging up after it and I was about to make the turn and he just kept going. I thought he was gonna crush it. All right, well, we're back out after a little lunch and a nap, and we are going to, despite the high skies and calm conditions, we're gonna try casting some rocks. If nothing else, we'll try to locate some fish for this evening. I'm gonna throw this regular Medusa on a Moab 2020. This sucker is awesome for throwing big rubber at Tranks 500. Jim's gonna stick with that little 675 Mini X. It's a good one to toss and bang on the rocks out here on Eagle, so. That's what's happening this afternoon. Come on, buddy. Man, he came in, came in pretty hot for that. Doesn't seem that way right now. I said I'm not sure what in the hell to do. <laughs> yeah. There's a fish. Nice fish. He stuck with it though. Boy, that was a dandy. Yeah. Okay. That was a dandy. Well, I guess all you gotta do is bellyache about not seeing one and one shows up. Boy, that was, I don't know if it was 50, but it was knocking on the door there. Dang it. All right. All right, folks, we got about two hours left. And since we came out after lunch and a nap, we hit one rock spot, raised a nice fish right off the bat. So I thought we were onto something, hit a couple others after that, and we got zero. Uh, just recently though, I raised a really nice fish on a rock spot on a Esox Assault 109. And shortly thereafter, Jim had one on that Custom X 6.75 Mini X. So 
I think it was just, it's dead calm right now, as you can see behind me, the lake's like glass practically. We've got high skies, so I think it is just a matter of time, and hopefully the last hour will be kind to us. We're just going to keep bopping around and uh, locate fish that maybe we can go back on. Maybe we can just get lucky and get one of the dumb things to hit. You never know. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can do something with it. There's a fish. Got him, got him. Okay, you ready? Nicely done, Jim. He, I couldn't see him at first. He, uh, right in that funny yeah. glare. He bumped it. He bumped the bait out there a couple times. All right. That worked out for us. Ooh. There, he got himself undone. All right. I just had a fish up on the 109 uh, killer corn and he took off this one was bumping the bait out there i could feel him but he finally came in and committed i think it's a low 40s maybe fish but we will find out shortly all right girl got just up another heavy beautiful eagle lake fish look at that sucker isn't that a good one all right behave baby Behave. Yep, 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 I know. Okay. She's 41. Oh. One last look at her. Nice, heavy, healthy fish. We'll get over here. Get her over the water just in case she pops on me. Okay, baby. <laughs> the old upside down release. All right. Well, that's a good sign because that's two really hot fish. We've got an hour and a half, now maybe just an hour left, but that is a good sign. So let's see if we can get one more here. There's a fish. He's gonna eat, he's gonna eat. He's gonna eat, he's gonna eat right up. Here. Got him. Ooh, he's not hooked very good. He got off. He got off. Oh man, the way he came in, I just knew he was gonna eat it. Right in the middle of the Whew. Couldn't do anything, but... Oh man. Oh. Oh, and of course, I'm a dummy and when we moved, I covered that up, so the perfect shot that I had of the fish getting off is, is blocked. So that's my luck right now. <coughs> fish. Okay, okay. Smaller. Maybe. There 
There we go, Jim. There. That's a way to end the night. <laughs> That's a way to end the night. Okay. Oh, man. All right, there's Jim's fish. Finally, yeah. Way to end the night. A beautiful Eagle Lake muskie, and it's a chippy one, so think you can drop her in there, Jim? There you go. There we go. No, that's all right. That's all right. He's right next to the boat here. He's going to right himself. I'm going to come back here next to him. <laughs> he's out of focus. All right. Well, he's just oh, there he goes. He's swimming away. I just I can't. <laughs> that arm just has that left arm has no reach. Yeah, I think that was the perfect way to release it. We got it. Yeah. And uh, with that, um, it's 8:50. So we <laughs> caught that fish literally like a minute or two button, before right? closing. So good timing, Jim. I don't think I've actually ever ended a video on a fish like that, but this is the best time to do it. Uh, that's a three fish day. That was 39 and a half. We got a 39 and 41, so a nice average, nice size fish. I'm hoping as we get closer into the new moon period that we're fishing into, we're gonna start seeing bigger fish. But for right now, I will take those high 30, low 40 inch fish all day. They're super fun and it makes filming a blast. So uh, yeah, with that, <coughs> we are gonna head back in dump footage, eat food, all that fun jazz that we do at the end of the night here and get ready to do it all again. And uh, we are just having a blast. This is our first full day here on Eagle Lake in August. We've got six more days of this ridiculousness. So I just hope it keeps getting better. So, all right, everybody. Thank you. Every one of you so much for watching. I appreciate it oh so much. And I'll see you on the next video.